So what actually happens when you let AI run your entire YouTube Shorts channel? No face, no mic, no editing, just you, and a few robots doing all the work while you sip iced coffee like a productivity god. Well, I tested it, and in this video I'm showing you exactly how I built the system, step by step. From viral ideas to scripting to voiceovers, visuals and uploading, all done by AI. Like, scary good AI. And if you're thinking, this sounds way too easy to be real, you're absolutely right. But only if you do it the right way. So let me show you exactly how to set it up step by step and how creators are using this exact workflow to grow fast without burning out. Alright, step one. If you want AI to run your channel, you can't treat it like some boring assistant from a 90s sci-fi movie. You have to make it think like a viral content demon with a phone addiction and something to prove. Here's how I do it. I open up ChatGPT and hit it with a challenge. I say, pretend you're a YouTube Shorts expert. Give me 10 viral ideas for a faceless AI channel. Keep them under eight words. Hooks that stop the scroll. And man, it delivered straight heat. I'm talking, this AI tool replaced my entire team. You're using ChatGPT wrong. Here's why. The app that works while you sleep. You know, the kind of titles that make you tap faster than your brain can say skip? But here's the real twist. Most people treat ChatGPT like a glorified autocorrect. But the truth is, it's a cheat code. Not because it's smart, but because it becomes whatever you tell it to be. So yeah, the difference between a boring idea and a viral one, it's not luck, it's prompts. I cherry picked the five best ones, dropped them into my Notion board, and just like that I had a week's worth of faceless short content, ready to roll. That's just the warm up, because in step two, we're gonna take those hooks and turn them into scroll stopping scripts that hit so fast, people don't even realize they're being educated. So in step one, I turn viral hooks into scripts that slap in under 60 words. So now that I had a bunch of spicy viral hooks, it was time to turn them into scripts people actually watch. All the way to the end. Because let's be honest, a hook without a payoff, that's just a clickbait headline in a hoodie. So here's how I do it. I go back to ChatGPT and drop this exact prompt. Write a viral YouTube short script under 60 words based on this hook. This AI tool replaced my entire team. Start strong, add one surprising fact, and end with a call to action. Boom. It spits out something like, This AI tool replaced my entire team, and I didn't even feel guilty. It writes content, answers emails, plans strategy, all in minutes. I'm saving thousands every month. Want in? Save this video and check it out below. Now that's tight. Clean pacing, high curiosity, built for the scroll. But wait, if it sounds a little too LinkedIn, like it's trying to sell you a productivity planner, just follow up with this prompt. Rewrite it like a TikTok creator talking to a friend. Keep it casual, real, and no cringe guru vibes. And it hits you with, look, I found this AI tool that replaced my whole team. No joke, it writes, plans, and even answers emails while I eat snacks and vibe. Kinda scary. Save this if you're not trying to work harder this year. Now it sounds like your smart friend who casually drops million dollar advice mid-conversation. Real talk, great short scripts don't waste time. They launch curiosity, drop a surprising gem, and bounce with style. Once I had five of these bangers, each under 15 seconds to read. All right, script's locked. Now it's time to bring it to life. And guess what? I didn't touch a mic, didn't fight with background noise, didn't record awkward lines in my closet while holding my breath so my laptop fan wouldn't show up in the audio. Here's what I did instead. I went to 11labs.io and if you haven't tried this yet, it's honestly spooky how real the voices sound. I dropped in my script, picked a voice that matched my channel's vibe, clean, casual, no robotic Siri energy, and hit generate. 10 seconds later I had a voiceover that sounded like it came from a full-blown content studio, except I made it while sitting in sweatpants eating toast. Pro tip, don't just grab the first voice you see, scroll through the list, some sound like motivational podcasters, others sound like the chill creator you'd follow on TikTok for 3am advice. Once I had the perfect voice, I hit download, save the mp3 to my folder, and that's it. I now have a pro-level voiceover, done 100% by AI, without ever saying a word. Next up, we turn that audio into a full-blown YouTube short. So step 4, now it's time to turn your voiceover into a viral-ready short without losing your mind in the timeline. But here's the catch. I didn't touch Premiere Pro, didn't open CapCut, didn't cry over a cluttered Canva timeline. I used a tool called FlexClip, and honestly, it's so underrated it deserves a little hype. Here's what I did. I went to flexclip.com, clicked start from scratch, and picked the 916 vertical format. Because we're not making a movie trailer here. We're making scroll stopping shorts. Then I uploaded my voiceover mp3 and dropped it right into the timeline. Easy! Now for visuals, this part's kind of fun. Instead of wasting time downloading random stock footage, I just used flexclip's built-in library. 
I searched stuff like AI interface, typing on laptop, digital workspace, and just dragged the clip straight into my project. No downloads, no Google Drive chaos, no where did that clip go drama. Pro tip, match the visuals to the emotion of the voiceover. Then came captions, and this is where FlexClip makes life too easy. You can literally paste in your script, break it up by sentence, and drag each line to where it fits in the audio. I used big bold fonts, added highlights like yellow or cyan for impact, and threw in light animations like fade in or pop to keep the viewer visually hooked. Bonus tip, make the captions move with the voiceover's rhythm. You're not just showing words, you're giving the viewer a beat to follow. Once everything looked smooth and stayed under 60 seconds, I hit export, downloaded the final video in full HD, and boom! I had a fully AI-powered faceless YouTube short built with zero stress and zero traditional editing. Now all that's left, publishing it like a pro, and using one sneaky tool that's actually helped the algorithm notice your content faster. So step 5, upload like a pro and unleash the viral trigger YouTube doesn't talk about. Okay, the video's done, the voiceover is spicy, the visuals are clean, the captions are dancing, and you're feeling like a content ninja with a sword made of automation. Time to upload, right? Wrong. Because this part? This is where legends are made, or completely ignored by the algorithm like an ex's birthday text. So here's how I don't mess this up. I drop into YouTube Studio, click upload, and throw in my masterpiece. Cool. Now comes the part most creators botch in 5 seconds flat. The title. I'm not writing an essay. I'm not trying to explain the whole video. I'm dropping fire. Like, this AI tool feels illegal, but it's not. Or, built by AI, posted by me. Views, you'll see. Clean, suspicious, scroll stopping, boom. Next, the description. Not an autobiography, just a flex with purpose. Created entirely by AI, no face, no voice, just results. Add three to five hashtags like shorts, faceless channel, AI shorts, automation, and viral secret. Then I do a gut check. Is it vertical, under 60 seconds, title hitworthy, description not boring, pinned comment ready to drop the secret? Sweet. Now I hit publish, but I'm not done, because here's the cold truth. You could follow everything I've shown you, use the perfect prompt, generate the cleanest voiceover, craft the smoothest video, and still get served a hot plate of 3 views in 12 hours. Why? Because YouTube's algorithm didn't even see your video, didn't feel it, didn't blink. And that's where the real twist comes in. There's an AI tool, barely anyone's talking about it, that wakes up the algorithm. It doesn't boost fake views, it doesn't game the system, it just tells YouTube, yo, this short's got heat, show it to the right people. And when that happens, view count explodes, retention climbs, you suddenly not invisible. New channels are hitting 10,000 plus views overnight, with no subscribers, no ads, no promo, just that one tool, quietly pushing their video into the right feed at the right time. And I've broken it all down in a short step-by-step -step breakdown you can watch right now. You'll find it in the description and first pinned comment. Seriously, if you've made it this far, don't just sit on this. Go watch that breakdown, then post your next short and sit back like, yep, algorithm noticed me today. Because this system, it works. But that secret AI trigger, that's what takes it from pretty good to why is my phone blowing up?